Hello Eurovision lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of Krista Calling. Last week we were visiting Rotterdam and this week we're gonna take a closer look at this year's artists. Before we take a closer look at this year's artists, let's take a moment to appreciate my own Eurovision bookshelf that I made myself. Here we have some really important things, for example, Eurovision in Helsinki back in 2007, but the most important one, the Eurovision DVD from 2013, the only DVD you really need. Nine countries are taking part in Eurovision Song Contest this year, but only one country can have this one. This one could also have been mine. We will see 26 returning acts from last year and 13 brand new ones. Three artists have a history in Eurovision as a lead singer. Natalia Gordienko from Moldova participated in Eurovision back in 2006. Zenit represented San Marino in Düsseldorf. But if you don't mind, I will be here Holding back those years that pass us by And Sanja Vucic represented Serbia in Stockholm 2016. Every time I Junior Eurovision artists are growing up and this year we will see two of them in Eurovision. One of them even won Junior Eurovision and that is Destiny from Malta. Then we have Stefania who represents Greece this year. Back in 2016, she represented the Netherlands with the girl group Kisses. So cute. So Stefania and Destiny already met at Junior Eurovision Song Contest and now they are meeting at Eurovision. Eurovision really makes people come together. Songs will be performed in 15 languages this year. Changu McRoy from the Netherlands will be the first artist ever to sing in Stranan Tongo. Denmark is singing in Danish for the first time since 97. Go für of Fleme! But let's have a look at the other languages as well. Peu de choses, mais moi, tout ce que j'ai, je le dépose là. Meine Damen und Herren, das war's mit I Don't Feel Hate. Ich hoffe, Sie haben noch ein derbe nices Leben und bis bald.
And Portugal is competing with a song completely in English for the first time ever. Two songs are performed in English, but their title is in Spanish. Bueno. We also have a song performed in English, but with a French title. Chemicals! <laughs> And it's a little bit more woman power in Eurovision this year because we have 17 female solo acts, 13 male solo acts and 9 groups. Okay, so now let's talk a little about Finland. Finland has been very successful with rock songs in Eurovision. <sighs> Very interesting to see how it's going to go for Blind Channel this year with their violent pop song. Now it's time to play a little game. Who said what? We have asked the artists some super serious questions. And now it's time for some super serious answers. It's time for you to guess who said what. Let's start with some good old hair disasters. One of the artists once shaved all her hair off. Who was that? Who promised to kiss the cameraman when receiving douze pois? For how long is it okay to wear one pair of socks? For a whole tour? What do you think? Who has a cat called Poo Poo? Poo Poo? Poo Poo. One of the artists wants to have a monkey as a pet, just like Pippi Longstrump. Who doesn't want that? You can look for the right answers at Eurovision.tv or in the next episode of Krista Calling. What a good cliffhanger! Much better.